Hey there, happy Tuesday. Thanks for joining me uh, tonight. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make cute embroidery kits for beginners. And I'm here every weeknight, Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And it's a time that we can relax and craft together. Uh, so thanks so much for joining me tonight and popping in. Uh, we are continuing our unicorn embroidery. Uh, we are going to add some metallic thread to it today. I brought my metallic thread up here and uh, it's going to be fun. We're going to do some satin stitching with metallic, metallic thread today. So, all right. And I also have for you um, my relax and craft embroidery, the scented embroidery box. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to like open it up for you guys to show you what's in it. Uh, everyone who ordered, it will go out tomorrow. So you will have your uh, relax and craft embroidery box really, really soon here. And I'm just so happy with them. So thanks again for your orders. Uh, we do have a few more. Uh, you guys are the first run that we're trying this out with, and then we're hopefully going to do more in the future. So this is a collaboration with my brother and his girlfriend, uh, Sea to Snow Candle Co. And I'll show you a little bit more about that now. So, all right, let's get going. Okay, so here we go, you guys. Um, let me zoom in on over here. Okay, there we go. So here is the box. Uh, again, today we will be actually stitching our unicorn embroidery. Here is all my sparkle thread that I have. It's that Nishikido thread. So here's like all the info for it. <laughs> if you want to search for it on Etsy and stuff, but it's so gorgeous. Uh, and we're going to pick some really pretty colors to do with um, the unicorn a day. It's so shiny, but I wanted to share with you uh, the rack relax and craft embro scented embroidery box with you. So this is how it comes. Uh, it will come in an extra box. And so all this will be protected. But uh, here is uh, the little card. So this uh, just slides in here. It comes out right away so that you can have like your package gift ready. So you don't have to wrap it or, or anything like that. Uh, you can just remove, you can leave this in there for the person or you can remove it if you don't want them to know what's in it. Uh, and let's just open it. So I got some, uh, this is the Elpen Glow, the Elpen Glow series volume of this. And we have some like Elpen Glow shiny leaves here. And we dried the oranges ourselves over Thanksgiving. So, all right, I'm gonna remove some of these. And a uh, uh, cute little twine here. Uh, but yeah, so this is what you'll be getting in the box. And again, this is a collaboration with my brother's company and his girlfriend, Sea to Snow Candle Co. And uh, these will be shipping out uh, starting tomorrow. So you guys should have it soon. So, all right, let's peek inside. Okay, Elfin Glow. So uh, here you'll get the Elfin Glow uh, postcard. It also has a little bit about the collaboration and what Elfin Glow is. It is that rosy light that you can see on mountains in the morning and in the evening. Uh, this is an actual photo that uh, <laughs> they took. Uh, my brother and his girlfriend took on one of their crazy, amazing hikes. Uh, up in Washington. And then we have a what's in the box. And uh, also on the back, there is instructions on uh, how to use the floss scent thread conditioner and what that actually is. And then we got all our little goodies in here. So our Elp and Glow uh, embroidery kit. This has uh, like 10 different colors in. It's going to be so fun to stitch. Uh, it, it almost, it was crazy. I drew this first and then saw their photo. It really looks like it could be coming from the same place. So I think that's just super duper fun. And we have their Elpen Glow uh, candle. This smells like a warm citrus. It's just like a really beautiful scent, especially this time of year. Uh, it's not, it doesn't have to be like holiday-esque, but it has like that orange 
that like yummy orange um, smell, which is great. And then our floss scents uh, thread conditioner. So this is also Elfin Glow scented. And this is where you uh, glide your floss through the wax, the thread conditioner, and it scents your floss. So it just smells really good while you're stitching. And it also protects the thread from fraying and um, just getting knotted and torn up from like lots of use through the fabric. And then our matching little purple scissors, penguin and fish scissors here. All nice and wrapped in the box. So this is what you guys will be receiving. Just wanted to share that with you. <laughs> Stick that off to the side. But I hope you guys love them as much as uh, we've had fun making them. And uh, I'm really, really excited for you guys to receive them. So that will be, uh, they'll all be shipped tomorrow. Um, and if you order tonight or, you know, tomorrow, they'll also be shipped tomorrow. So, and thanks again for your orders on that so far. Uh, that's been super great. So anyway, that's show and tell for the night. Oh, it's not, uh, Robin's asking, can you buy that separately? That's not separately yet. We may be doing a different, um, a different scent and a different way of doing the, uh, floss scents uh, later. So right now we are only having it introduced as the bundle right now. All right, so here is our unicorn. Uh, we have all of the outlining done and we are gonna start, I was gonna start with the horn tonight and we are gonna do um, some of the Nishi Kito. Uh, sparkle is shiny floss. So again, here's the info. If you want to like look into this floss, this thread, uh, I can find it on Etsy sometimes. Um, I think I have the whole set here. Uh, this is from like years ago though. So it's, it's Nishikito. This is the important part right here. Uh, and it's the sparkle metallic embroidery thread and it's by Lycian, which is owned by Cosmo <laughs> embroidery floss. So lots of little info there. Um, but yeah, Nishi Kiito is the ultimate brand of it. Um, and it comes in so many cute colors. We've really primarily only used like the golds and silvers, but this is like a fun, maybe opportunity to use some of these, um, just more, more like rainbowy ones. Like this is awfully freaking cute. It's kind of like a silver, a silver, um, rainbow with like, I don't know, a little bit of blue and pink in. I'm kind of leaning towards that for our horn here. And I still think I want to use um, this pink for the hair, but maybe we do the hooves with um, some gold or some like, some, some of this metallic as well. And maybe we use like gold for that or something. Little golden hooves. <laughs> And this silver rainbowy um, horn. I think let's do that. So I'm gonna grab some of this. We haven't actually used any of this super duper sparkly stuff, but I don't know. I'm kind of just feeling this rainbow color. I can tell it's never been used because it's still in this crazy knot form. So let's see if I can get this separated and, and see what we can do. So um, metallic floss is historically not all that easy to work with. Oh, this just slides out. Oh, that is fabulous. Okay, it was just a slip knot with the end pulled in. That is a great way of, um, great way of holding this tight. That's good, I'm gonna try and do that again. Um, all right, so I'm gonna just get like, I don't know, my 24 inches or so. I'm not sure how much I'll need. You probably want to keep it a little less with metallic thread because it does like to fray. Although I do think this metallic thread, the Nishikito in particular, uh, does a way better job. It has, most metallic threads have like a, a white core thread. And this one, um, I think there's still a core thread. I don't know, no, actually it's just like, um, 
it's just like four metallic threads. So it's not actually wrapped around that core, um, which I think makes it much nicer. It's like shinier and nicer. How did they do that? It was like a, it was like a slip knot. Okay. And then they wrapped it all the way around and then they pulled the knot through and then tightened the slip knot. Ooh, love it. Okay, that's fabulous. All right, let's um uh, let's get stitching so that you can see like this is kind of rainbowy as we look at it. I think we'll start on this end. Uh needles right here. And definitely check out the Sea to Snow uh, Instagram. It might be Sea to Snow Candle Co. I can't remember uh, the Instagram off the top of my head, but there you can just see like just the total vibe of um, Sea to Snow Candle Co. Uh, it's just great. And uh, uh, they will be doing a whole pile of craft shows coming up in the Seattle area. Uh, so if you're in that area, then you can get some candles individually and stuff. Uh, okay. So in my head, I'm just going perpendicular basically to, to this. And you know what? I'm not sure I want to do guide post lines because I kind of want to start way at the bottom and keep going up. Cause then maybe we'll get that like rainbow effect. I think I'm going to do that. I don't know how easy that's going to be. So I like working vertically so i'm gonna just hold this in like the vertical position and i'm just gonna kind of start way at the bottom here with the like this tiny tiny stitch oh gosh it's shiny and beautiful already okay uh and i'm just gonna keep going here i think we're gonna be filling in this um his bangs with satin stitch as well so any like little mistake here, I'm hoping I can cover it up. But yeah, I'm really hoping we can get that um, rainbow effect by just starting on one side and going up the other. You guys are gonna love this candle scent as well, the Elpen Glow candle scent. It is just so freaking lovely. I had it burning in my house today. It's nice, nice, nice. Oh, this is cute. You can already see like the shift in colors. Okay, I'm I'm liking that we went with this variegated thread. It's gonna look, it's gonna just be a, like a subtle color shift. It's gonna look like um like it's a spiral almost going going up the horn. Um I hope everyone had a lovely day. We got like seven inches of snow at least outside today. It's like the first big uh, freaking snowfall of the year. Uh, so that, that was fun. John just spent the evening uh, clearing it. He did use the, the uh, um, snow plow. I don't think we used that at all, or the snow blower. I don't think we used that at all last year. We just shoveled. Um, so I think maybe it wasn't working. I don't remember, but we got that out and still took a while. <laughs> I think that's actually all the snow we're getting for a little while. It's just supposed to get like super duper cold now. Oops, shoot, just um, almost flung my needle across the room. Let's get situated again here. You can see it's like fraying on the end here. Um, it's just like right, oops, right on the end of um, the needle, but I think it's, it's gonna be fine there. You can already, I don't know if you can tell, but you can see the shift um, from the pink to the, to the blue there. Oh, Robin says, I wish I could get that candle set, but all my money went to the move. That is totally, totally understandable. Uh, I am hoping to have 
um, candles and uh, the, the floss scent um, as just uh, items in the shop, but that probably won't be till uh, next year. You'll get in there. Are you done with the move now? I, that's, that can always, that's just like so much work and so much um, stress and everything. I hope it went okay. Ooh, now we're like shifting into like a silver and then I think we'll be shifting back into the pink it looks like after this silver. Oh my god, so freaking cute. We're gonna have this little variegated thing happening. And you know what? This isn't bad at all satin stitching so far. This is it's great actually. Um, I don't know what a like a larger space, like if we sat and stitched the main, I think it, it might be a little wobbly um compared to just the cotton. So I think I'll I'll just stick with ooh, stick with um just doing it on the horn here and then maybe maybe the hooves. And then I still would like to do it in in the flowers and, and that, but like I think let's stick to the cotton embroidery floss for the for the main. Oh yes, Amy. Amy says I came in late. What what thread is this? This is the Nishikito. So here's here's like all my information on it again. Uh Nishikito right here is the main search term. Um, and then it's by Lycian and it's Cosmo Embroidery Floss owns uh, Lycian, so uh, that should be helpful. And I am using, gosh, I don't even know. These aren't numbered or anything, so I don't, I don't even know which one it is, but it's kind of like a soft, ooh, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's kind of a soft silver with pinks, like, a, like soft pinks, like almost like a baby pink and a baby blue in it. Um, I have another version, but it's it's like a gold with a baby, like maybe not so baby blue and um, pink, maybe even a little like green in there too. Um, but yeah, so this is the more like baby silver, blue and pink colors. If that helps, I don't know. Uh, if you're seeing a whole bunch of pictures of them, then and that's that. I don't I don't have a. I think they they're they're numbered in real life, but I don't have numbers on these ones. On you guys, it's like, today's like the 29th, people. Uh, so uh, what is it? There's only like 30 days in November, right? So we only have like one more day before the embroidery of the month changes over as well. So this month of embroidery of the month is our little our little winter panda, and um, you get a greeting card with that too as the freebie, and those are really cute. Our little uh, bear greeting cards, and then it's a new one, new embroidery of the month. Oh, Amy says that this variegated is perfect. It is turning out so cute. It is really, 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 really subtle. Um, I'm gonna have to take a better photo, I think, when we're done here, and I'll post it in the group, um, Penguin and Fish Crafters group, but it really, you, uh, it's really visible. It looks like it's just like changing color as it goes up. It's so cute, and it's just super duper shiny. Oh, Robin says, yeah, I still have 99 boxes to unpack. Oh, man. Yeah. Ugh, I feel for you. We moved a couple times. Um quickly for a while and like oh god got rid of more stuff each time and now that we've lived at our house for ever like all the stuff is just accumulated and i'm just like oh my god what if we have to move at some point this would be impossible i'm like definitely into like let's go through all our stuff and i don't know what do we got here kind of mode so this has been getting a little twist in it that I've been able to, that almost looks like it's gonna kink up a little bit there. I wonder um, if I just can dangle this and let this untwist a little. 
Yeah, it's not really untwisting. Oh, shoot. I thought that was going to happen. Um, but anyway, so I'm just keeping an eye on that as I stitch. So hopefully that little kinking doesn't, doesn't uh, become a problem here. I think we've done the lap. Like I'm back at that original pink color now. So cute. Uh, and this Nishiki Ito is by far my favorite metallic. I, I think it beats all other metallic reds. And again, I think mostly it's because it doesn't have um, that core thread in the same way that most metallic threads do. It's just like four metal threads. And I think if you really, really dig into these skinny little metal threads. I'm thinking all those have like a little core, but it's not like a big white core thread with a bunch of little nylon bits around it, you know? I don't think I even have an example of that in here. I think I got rid of all the old icky uh, metallic that I might have had once I got this fun Nishikido stuff. We're a little halfway done here. I think I'm going to have just the, amount, the right amount of floss, so I'm happy about that. So cute. All right, so I'm hoping, well, for sure, I want to get this horn done. Kind of really itching to do this uh, pink mane, but since I have all the metallic out, I kind of want to do the hooves. Ugh, that's a lot of satin stitch. And this is all satin stitch, too. Well, I guess it's just a satin stitch day. We'll definitely be doing this tomorrow, too. Okay, I can tell right now that one of the strands is getting a little loose here. I'm going to just see if I can correct that by pulling on these little strands. I always gotta keep keep an eye on what's going on. There we go. There, I tightened it up and now, now that those little extra loops are gone. Gotta keep an eye on that metallic. But again, as far as metallic goes, love this stuff. We looked into carrying it, but I'd have to get like so much of it that, um, I'm kind of like priced out of getting it for the shop a little bit, which is a bummer. So you can you can find it on Etsy and some other places. Um, sell it as well. Might still look into getting it. All right, luckily it's not been all that hard to keep these vertical just because I'm in this like little itty bitty space. So this has worked out kind of kind of cute and fun, I think. sparkly. I don't know why I don't use this more. I think I'm wondering if it's because I feel like it's precious and I love it and I don't want to use it, but like I feel like I'm maybe a little over that now. That's how I was with, with fabric. And I think I've gotten better at that. I don't know. I need like a big project where I can do tons of metallic. <laughs> Lynn says it adds just the right amount of fun color and bling. Totally agree. That's why I think I want to like limit it a little bit. Actually, maybe I'm maybe on that note, maybe I'll do the main and the little bangs next. Cause like maybe we don't want to do the hooves like sparkly. Maybe we just want this sparkly. Oh, I kind of still want to do the these flowers and stuff, but maybe we want the focus. Maybe by having nothing else metallic, it'll throw focus to the horn, which I think, you know, is ideal. 
I don't know. Now I'm now I'm unsure. So I think maybe since I know I want to do um, these other things with the pink, just the cotton floss, maybe I'll do those. And you know, we'll be doing this tomorrow yet too for sure. All this sand stitching, so we can decide tomorrow. I'll leave all the metallic out here, and we can decide tomorrow if we want to do more metallic. I mean, more metallic is fun. But we can see. We can just like. We can just decide then maybe work like up to down or something. Then we'll get to potentially do some metallic tomorrow too. Okay, getting to the point here. I think we'll get a little bit into that blue. So we've, we've gone kind of like two and a half rounds of the varig variegation. Ooh, Amy says one of my local quilt shops carries embroidery and tatting supplies, and she carries the Nishikiita. Wow, that's impressive. I wonder would be like tatting with um this metallic thread. Probably super annoying. Oh, but it'd be just so shiny. Tatting is kind of rising back up to the surface uh, for me. I'm kind of. Wanting to try doing another one of these um, snowflakes. Oops, I think I might have. Nope, thought I pulled the thread out. My finger caught on it in the back, but we're still good. Oh, Robin says, I just love my house. So does my three dogs and two cats. Oh, that is so wonderful. I'm so happy you like it. And it was worth, worth the move. Okay, this is getting a little. Loose again, you can see I got a tiny little bit of thread. So again, I'm gonna just check my threads at the top here. Uh, like I said earlier, this is probably, I got it here. This is probably a little bit longer thread than I would typically, typically like to use for metallic thread just cause it can be so fussy. But I really, really didn't wanna um, start with a fresh piece with this horn, so. I got greedy. Okay, I think maybe like two more little stitches. They're getting a little awkward up here because they are so small. Gosh, shoot. And then I <sighs> pulled the threads out. All right, and I think that's going to do it. <laughs> it's so shiny. Oh, and now you have a craft room, Robin. Oh, God, that is so freaking exciting. Well, congrats. That's just neat. And hopefully the rest of the unpacking goes well. All right, I'm just kind of tucking in my thread a little bit, and then I'm going to weave it into this cotton thread because it's just way easier. I don't want to, like, mess with trying to weave into the, uh, the ends into the back of that um, metallic. Why make it hard for myself? All right, and we just have a little bit of that metallic left. Boop. All right, fun. So let me just see if I can get really close for you guys. There, I don't know if it's blurry, but you can see a little bit of the variegation there. It's so shiny. And uh, for you guys on TikTok here, I don't know if you can tell, but there is a bit of variegation uh, from blue to silver to pink on there. Cute. Okay. Let's get this pink out. I still think I do want this for the main. So it would be kind of, we'd go satin stitches like that. So that would all be filled in. Now I'm just thinking, do we do that metallic too? No, nah, I think we want to, just like putting this down here, I feel like it is already taking away from, from the horn. So I think um, let's kind of stick with this a little bit and then like up here too. Yeah, oh man, this um this just like cotton thread here to contrast with the horn, I think that's going to be great. So all right, let's, let's do that. I'm going to get, I'm going to be greedy again. So let's get our 24 inches or maybe a hair more. Trim that and uh, get our three strands. Um, you know, I've been doing the 
sand stitch with two strands lately and like doing that thing where I split the thread, the railroading, so they all lay next to each other decently. I'm just not gonna do that this time. I'm gonna use the three strands and just go at it. Get it done a bit faster, I think. There we go. John had to, um, he had an appointment this morning, so he had to be out on the roads, and he said, he had to put his flashers on for the drive. He said that he saw an accident on the way there and on the way back, and uh, saw, like, people spinning out, and uh, just scary, so I'm glad he got back and everything. Uh, what would happen if you mix, Linda's asking, what would happen if you mixed a uh, regular and uh, the metallic floss? Uh, I think you'd have that effect a little bit like when we mix colors, like different threads together. I'm just trying to think of like how difficult that would be to stitch. So first of all, um... You can't really, I mean, with this Nishikito, it, it looks like you could almost split these threads, but that seems like a really scary prospect. So you could do like a metallic thread and then like add some, what would happen if we just added like one strand? So here's, here's a strand of, is this pink? Yeah, I think this is a lighter pink. I mean, it's kind of neat. I think it would, um, I mean, it, it's totally worth trying. All this stuff is worth trying. I'm sure it'd be like a really, really fun experiment. Um, of, off the top of my head, I'm thinking, first, the colors that you could get would be super duper cool, but I'm thinking you might lose a little bit of, um, the shininess of the, the um, metallic thread just because you're putting like a dull matte thread with it um, but that might be a cool look depending on what you do so definitely worth experimenting that's just I haven't done that before but that would be my guess of the look you could really play with color uh, but yeah it might just um it might lose a little bit of the shiniest. I think this um, Nishikido is like the shiniest um, of all the metallic flosses that I've worked with as well too. All right, I'm sand stitching this guy. I'm just going from one point to the other. I think that's just gonna be the easiest way to do it. I use three strands here. Yeah, I did. It looks like a lot, but maybe I, it's just cause I'm used to, I just did all that stitching with the metallic and that was really thin. Like I was stitching with like one or two strands of um embroidery floss, so this three strands is just like filling the space quick. Yeah, I like this softness, this um, matte softness next to the shiny, shininess of that, that horn. I think that's kind of fun. Okay, and I think that's all I need for the top. Yeah, let's get the other side. Got these little bangs. And I have a lot of floss left, so I think I'll just travel behind his ear and then come back down here and start the, the actual mane. My last stitch here. <laughs> Look at his pink bangs. It's cute next to the shiny. All right, I'm liking it. Okay, so just traveling the back of some stitches here, and now I'm uh, where we can do this main. And I think I'm gonna kind of treat it the same way. I'm gonna kind of go perpendicular to the to like his neck here. I think I am going to put some guide posts in here. I'm gonna just kind of hold it vertical and there, kind of go vertical down. I can. 
Actually, I think it'd probably be good to maybe go at these points would be a good way of doing it. Kind of holding it in place. All right, let's let's just start there. Um, I'm gonna actually jump back up here, I think. Actually, nah, let's just start here. I'm gonna go down to up, I think. That's what I did here, and that seemed to work fine. So I got, got in my muscle memory now. I'm just following the shape. So I got, it comes down here to that point, so we're gonna get, get that in. Ooh, I'll have to get um I'll have to use that Elpen Glow red conditioner um floss scent tomorrow. I don't want to wreck this nice new one, so I'll have to I'll get my other one. Um it's not nearby, so I'll do I'll use that tomorrow. I'm thinking, dang, that would have been nice on these sad stitches. All right, one more here. All right, we got that first little space filled. Let's get the rest of um, this little corner. And I think by then I'll need more thread. And I'll wanna put in some more guide posts. with the, once I get the new floss in. But I definitely think it was the smart move using this kind of matte colored, uh, or the matte like textured cotton thread instead of the metallic, because I think it's really calling out the shininess of that horn. Fun! I'll definitely take a cuter, closer pick of this when we're done. I think with two little baby stitches here will do the job. Try to do sand stitch when it comes up to just a little point like this, but only gotta do it for these two little bits. Okay, so we gotta start here. I think I'm going to let's uh let's put in another guide post right here. So I'm gonna still try and go like vertical. It looks like I maybe veered a little bit or like, let's just, maybe I wasn't always vertical. Let's, or perpendicular to, so we'll go right here. Oops, shoot. Oh, I think I see the spot that I was at. Yeah, that seems, that seems parallel to our other ones. All right, I still have some thread left. Let's. Do a few more stitches here. Oh man, you guys though, I started exercising again, so like, yay. <laughs> uh, but I can tell that, holy cow, it's been a long time because I, I didn't even think it was like on paper, it wasn't that big of a workout, but my legs are so sore today and they only ever get that sore when I haven't done anything for a long time, but ugh. But I like, I kinda, I don't like that soreness, but I do know that it meant like that I did something good. So in that sense, I do kind of like it. Luckily tomorrow is just arms. So <laughs> I'll be sore here tomorrow from arms, but I won't have to do more leg stuff. I think this is gonna be my last stitch right on the point here. Oh gosh, maybe I should have 
ended earlier. I don't have that much left. All right, so we got to fill in that little gap yet, but it's looking cute. We'll weave in the ends right here. Boop. All right. He is looking so cute. All right, here's our other three strands. Okay. Let's fill that gap. Add a few more guide posts and connect it all together. What are we doing on time? Ooh, 912. All right, I think we might have time to finish up this main yet. We'll see. So a quick reminder that if you uh, uh, purchase anything uh, $20 or more from our shop during our live here or about 15 minutes after, uh, I will throw in a free mystery gift for you. Little like bonus stocking stuffer. <laughs> And you don't need a special code or anything. I just look at the timestamp of the order and I'll throw one in. I have a little teeny bit down here. I'm gonna just like stuff another stitch in here. And I'm gonna guide my needle up to the top. There we go. All right, that worked. Cute. All right, so that's halfway filled in or yeah, almost halfway. I still think it's looking cute with the metallic. I think I do want to do more metallic though. I think it's not enough now. <laughs> I, I do like the shininess, but I think maybe it's just too subtle now. I wanna, I definitely think I wanna do the flowers and all that with metallic. Maybe we can try some of this other, you know, I got these other super duper shiny, shiny ones. Um, like this is almost the same color pink. But I probably want to do different. Um, we got an extra shiny purple. So now these, so there's two different kinds of, of these two. And I, and I don't know if they're named something different, but you can see the difference right here. So um, this one is just like sparkly. Maybe this is the sparkle metallic embroidery thread. And this is like more the Nishi Kiito. But this one has an obvious core. So this one... I can see there's like a fuzzy little like dark colored core in it that's like a nylon or some other type of thread and the shiny metallic um, is wrapped around it. Whereas um, this, which to me is the Nishi Kiito, it is just those four strands of metallic without that core. So to me, this is probably closer to like your DMC metallic or, or something like that. Um, it's a different, it's a different shiny. It's, it's got more like sparkle. This is, this feels like more like shiny metal. This feels like, I don't know, sparkles from the light and stuff a little bit more. Uh, and it, it, and it's clear, like you can see, like, you know, you can see the difference there. This is like metal. This is just shininess. Um, I don't think I've used that stuff very, very much. So we could maybe try that. Otherwise, we got all sorts of this, these other pretty, like, metallic ones. I do kind of like, like those. Anywho, we can make those decisions tomorrow. All right, let's get another guide post in here. Kind of just, like, holding it there vertically. Another one, too. Why not? Okay, that's probably all I need. Yeah, that's decent. All right, I'm going to come back here, though. I kind of like doing it in sections.
But yeah, if you're in the Seattle area, I hope you can make it to like, um, I think they're going to be at the Seattle Renegade, Renegade and uh, I think they have a schedule out now, my brother and his, his uh, girlfriend for Seed Snow Candle Co. Because then you can grab some of their candles, um, otherwise their website will be up soon for online shopping and I'm hoping to have maybe carry them in our shop too because why not why not light a candle and stitch that's relaxing that's why we made the box a nice relaxing craft box All right, we got to see them for Thanksgiving. It was just uh, fun seeing everybody. Uh, I'm gonna get one more in there. All right, I'm gonna jump down to this guy. I kind of think I might still need more floss. Which, oh well, that's fine. I need this for his tail as well. Keep calling it a him. All our uh, pets, actually not all, but like in my head, all our pets were boys. Our dogs were boys. And, uh, Chad is the kitty is so in my head like all these are little little uh all the pets are boys in my head <laughs> Ooh, I think I'm gonna have just enough to fill in this gap last bit here and actually I'm going to try and keep going here now I'm going to just go from left to right even though I kind of like going the other way better but we'll just see how this goes I don't have I still don't think I have enough to finish this but oh god it'd be nice but yeah I think I'm going to be like a bunch of stitches shy actually I got them Actually, I'm not that. Yeah, yeah, I can't. I can't make it. Boo! <laughs> oh, or can I? It's going to take at least two more stitches. My God. I don't know if I'll be able to weave this in, but I'm going for it. Ah, can I even turn the needle around? Barely. All right, but we got it. That's that's it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to weave it in. Um, oh, Robin, you did. Oh man, uh, I will make a note so we won't we won't do that again. <laughs> we have it. Um, that uh, that's pretty random. <laughs> that that's what happened to you, because <laughs> we have a pretty big variety in those mystery gifts. But I will make a I'll make a note. Uh. So make sure it's not that again for you. That's crazy though. I'm, I'm actually, I'm pretty surprised at that. <laughs> All right. So here we are. The cute little man. And uh, yeah, I think we might even end it a little bit early there tonight. I think this is a good stopping part, um, stopping bit. I think tomorrow, Let's make some decisions, more decisions on this metallic. I know for sure that I want these guys to be metallic. So maybe let's do this next. Um, and then 
then we can decide on the hooves. That's what I'm just not quite sure about. And then we can always do um, this guy is is going to be his tail is going to be this pink as well. Um, so awesome! I like this progress so far. Uh, all right. Hello again. So here we are. It's looking so cute. I will take a uh, closer up picture of that um, horn so you can see that variegation of that Nishikito uh, metallic thread. I think it's so pretty. Um, so, all right, I will uh, do that right now and post it. So, uh, yeah. So thanks again, everyone. And uh, check out our box if you haven't checked it out yet, our Relax and Craft scented embroidery box. Uh, I'm really excited to get those shipped out tomorrow. Uh, and, it, you know, we'll ship it, we'll keep shipping it out. But the first, the first orders of them uh, from our launch will be going out tomorrow. So expect them soon. <laughs> All right. I will see you tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Have a lovely, lovely uh, rest of your evening. And I'll see you then. Good night.